everything that um, that is built. Uh, many times when you're dealing with coordination models, um, they can include uh, temporary shoring, um, uh, all kinds of other elements which which may be used just for construction, or it might be an existing building and there's elements that you're going to be demolishing. So you can see that those are also, um, there's the ability to indicate those uh, in the tabs down here. So finally, um, now we have all that set up, uh, we're ready to, to view and watch the, the building of the, uh, the simulation. So let me zoom in here. And you can see I have uh, a little play for, forward uh, button here. So if I just click that, it's going to play the simulation. It's going to build the model up. As you can see, it's kind of first it does the concrete, then it does the uh, partitions and curtain walls. You can see as it progresses, it's it's laying the the, the curtain wall, steel, and then finally gets to the end, and everything is orange. So you can take. You don't have to just play the, the simulation. You can also take the, uh, the timeline here and, and move it to any point that you want to examine. Uh, you, can, you can either slide the tool here or you can, uh, you can click the, the little increment buttons here to step through different, different points in the model. Um, I can change my simulation steps so that it steps through instead of every week, you know, every day. Um, it gives me, there's a little button here, activities in progress. This just shows me at this point what's, what's currently in progress. Well, the level 7 concrete pour and the level 6 outfitting are both in progress at that point. They're both activities that, that are currently underway at this time. So um, so now we have that we have that set up. We can we can also um, if you wanted to you could you could fast forward to the end and play it backwards to watch the to watch it going in the other direction. So you can imagine this this can be a pretty powerful tool if you have you know all of your um, all your elements broken down and you see the um, you see it going up in different parts, different slab pores, different as the as the columns go up. So um, let's say we want to to change the schedule and see how that's reflected in the in the model. If I want to uh, to return the model back to its original state, I can just hit the reset button here, and it's gonna it's gonna return that model back to the way it was before. So let me go over to the Microsoft Project file. Um, let's say that we find out uh, later on that the, the steel for the cur curtain wall and some of the elements, um, right now it's set up to start after event 7, which is a level 7 concrete pour. But let's say that we, we find out later on that it's, it's not going to be possible until the level 18 concrete pour is finished. So if we were to, to change that to reflect that change, we can see now that, that those events are pushed further into the future um, for the project. And if we go back to our model, we're going to see that reflected um, as soon as as soon as we hit the sync button. So anytime you make a change to the Microsoft project file, um, you need to make sure to hit the sync button, which is the middle button in your Microsoft project toolbar. And as soon as it's done, it indicates it's done. And when I open up the, the simulation again, first thing I, I'm going to notice when I hit the more button here, is that um, the end date 
is, is set like before to September 30th, but it has a lot more room. If I push it all the way to the end, now the end of the project is actually February 24th, 2011. So already it's, 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 um, it's indicated that, uh, that the, the range of the project has, has now extended. Um, and if I want to run the whole simulation, I kind of have to push that, that uh, slider all the way to the end there. And just like before, um, I can run the simulation. Maybe if I want to run it a little bit quicker, um, I can change that to a quarter of a second. And now if I run the simulation, I'll see the floors are going up, um, but no curtain wall. So it's going to keep going up until level 18. And then boom, here's the, the curtain wall. It's going to, looks like most of the building is, is done, but it continues on with the, the curtain wall. So you can see those, those changes are now reflected in the, the 4D model. So what happens, for instance, if we add uh, some events in the Microsoft Project file? Well, a good example might be, let's say that um, these, uh, these tasks we've created for the glazing, um, lower and upper, are maybe not um, fine enough granularity. Maybe we need to kind of separate the different sides of the, of the facade. So what we can do is, is create some new tasks. I'm just right-clicking here and going up to new task. I'll do this one more time. And I'm going to call this custom curtain wall glazing lower task. Uh, I'm going to say it's the first one. So that's one. And I'm going to just drag and copy this. And I'm going to make this two. And this three. And I'm going to make, let's say I'm going to make the duration. So the, the first side is only going to be four weeks. And the same is going to hold for the other activities. So now I've just kind of broken down this, this one um, activity into three more discrete activities. Um, and the same goes for the upper, so I'm going to say I'm going to create two more here, and call it upper two and upper three, and also these are all going to be four week. And I'm going to kind of line up the, the activities in my chart over here, I'm going to make this um, predecessor for, for 44 be 43 and 45 be 44. So now they're all kind of um, linked up one after the other. All right, so let me go back to digital project. And now I want to see that change reflected in the model. Uh, again, I want to make sure that my project is, is active, it's underlined, right? And I go up to my sync button up here and OK. And you'll see if I go down to the bottom here, I have some new, I have some new activities. And the, um, the first one, oh, it looks like I had named that too. So let me go back real quick and change that to three. It's pretty easy to, to fix. Hit my sync again. So now let me um, let me go to the uh, the lower. You'll see that the lower one still has those three elements that we originally um, populated in um, in the lower glazing activity. So how do we? Um, how do we change that? So if we double click the edit group and 
you'll see that the reason that the that this this activity was retained is that each um, 